All right, how you doing today? Today we're taking a look at this program called Cortable. This is the free version. There is a paid for version as well, but you can get a lot of stuff out of the free version. Make some really cool chord progressions for your tracks very simply and easy. Simply, is that a word? I don't know. Um, just one key, you press on your keyboard and you're ready to go. There's some really cool stuff you can do with this. This is for Mac and iOS. As you can see here, transforms single notes into complex chords, 40 plus chord types with endless variations, send and receive many from your DAW, compatible with Ableton, Fruity Loops, Logic Reaper, Pro Tools, and probably a bunch of other ones. And it's not a VST. You have to, it's a standalone program here, which is cool because you turn it on, and then when I go into Logic, oh, well, first of all, I have different chord presets up here, built-in presets, for different chord progressions and then if you buy it there's some there's even more but this is the free version so everything on here demoing today will be the free version so on cloud nine and some other features we have the speed we have humanized we have the strum pattern if you want to do it you know like a staggered chord like that i'm just playing one key on the keyboard so it's a g9 a minor nine C major nine. I guess that's why it's called on cloud nine, the ninth chords, and we could turn the strumming down, make more of a block chord. And we can change around the notes here. The voicings and everything. And then we have a spread button here too for even more voicings. And if you want the bass note on, that's locked, but you could add that in yourself or not even use it if you don't want to. And you could sync this to the tempo of your track. If you want something like that, or we could just use this. We have the humanizing thing here. Uh, strum mode, that's locked as well. And then we have on and off notes. Spread mode. Closer together, farther apart. And then when you go into Logic, for example here, I'm using Logic. We can just record that. Let's just do a loop right here. And that will record that MIDI as an input. And now we have that as a MIDI track. And of course, if you don't wanna have, if you could turn that off there and just have the single notes. So when you're doing overdubs and stuff and have this running in the background or whatever. And you could have it on other instruments as well. We could get that strum out of there and just do something like this. Because that strum might sound weird on certain instruments. And of course, there's other presets in different chords. And you can save your own presets, but that's in the paid version as well. So let's check some out some other presets here. These are your basic major and minor chords. Let's put that on the piano. So you can do stuff like that. And then we have some Jazzy Jeff. Some of the bass, bass notes. So you can easily create your own like MIDI chord packs or don't even need the MIDI chord packs. You just create your own little whatever, come up with a little pattern or whatever you do and record it right into your DAW and you're ready to go. So just a quick video today. Please do subscribe to my channel. I have hundreds of other videos on my, my uh, channel here. 
music production stuff, a lot of really cool things. Let me know what you think. That is all for now, and I will talk to you soon.